Evening, thanks for clicking on to the special edition of the UK your video blog. We continue to look at the storm situation, particularly for a uh, Sunday evening uh, through Monday and perhaps into Tuesday. And some of the models, folks, actually are uh, suggesting that uh, the stormiest conditions may be later in the day Monday as opposed to earlier in the day Monday, as, as the, the earlier model run suggested. Uh, Katia is now a no longer a tropical system that has now lost the tropical uh, warm core and it is now interacting with the, the, the more barrack clinic environment. The contrast between cooler to the north, warmer to the south, strong jet stream driving it and uh, we continue to uh, monitor this situation very closely. I do continue to uh, believe that the winds will be uh, of damaging force across the majority of Scotland through Monday and perhaps now into Tuesday. I'm going to pull up the map here of the Media Group website. It's the GFS model uh, run for actually for 24 hours from now. So around this time tomorrow night, and you can see here, folks, uh, the, the low that's been dominating the UK over the past uh, 12 or so hours uh, in particular is situated right here. Of course, here's Scotland, England, Wales, and of course, Ireland. This is the core, the, the low that's influencing the weather at the moment. But uh, as you can see here, this is, this is the remnant low of Katia. It's not a tail end of anything. It's not a tropical system, it's not a hurricane. Like a lot of media sources would suggest it is, uh, the whole idea of a tail end is, uh, is, to be honest with you, I think it's nonsense, to be honest with you, because it really is, it's an, a remnant low, it's transitioned from warm core to cold core. Uh, it's driven by a, a, a very different uh, properties, uh, a selection of properties in the atmosphere, and uh, this system uh, will need to continue to be watched. The model I'm noticing, folks, if you look over to towards 42 hours from now, uh, you can see here the system uh, tightening up. Still suggests a central pressure around 956 in millibars. That's a very powerful center of low pressure, folks, and you can see here continuing to be off the west coast as of 42 hours, which is actually on Monday. Uh, but you can see the isobars across Scotland in particular tightening up, suggesting uh, stronger winds. Looking ahead at 48 hours. Now, I'm wanting to point out one thing, folks. You can see here the very, very tightly packed isobars here suggesting uh, severe gales, of course, hurricane force gusts. But if you notice, folks, the centre situated here in Scotland here, the system, the core of the system actually may be tracking slightly farther north than what was previously suggested yesterday. I believe the core of the system was more here as opposed to over here now. And that might play a role in terms of how strong we see the winds over the next day, you know, day or so. Now, you can see here, as of 60 hours, this is actually for Tuesday now. So the time frame itself has now been lengthened. The core of the system, very similar to what the model suggested yesterday would be for, say, midday on Monday. But now it's Tuesday, and uh, you can see here the, the center of circulation here. Is the strongest winds going to be farther north than what was previously suggested? It's a hard one to say. This is the GFS run, and there's plenty more models that suggest otherwise. I continue to hold on to the aspect, folks, that I believe this system could produce hurricane force winds across the central belt of Scotland, the main population centre of the country. And I believe the transport network could be um, majorly hit uh, from the system. I do believe this is a formidable windstorm, and uh, it certainly should not be taken lightly. There is some changes in the forecast. There is 
um, a slight delay in the strongest of winds, and that will probably be Tuesday now as opposed to what was previously suggested Monday. So uh, I'll continue to keep you posted and uh, keep checking out the blog for the latest updates. But certainly this, folks, is not something to relax over. I do believe that, that we will see a, a pretty significant damaging wind event across Scotland in the next uh, couple of days. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great evening, folks. Bye-bye.